been given the sum of three consecutive integers is equal to their product. So in such cases, when you have to consider three consecutive integers, the easiest way you can do is you'll say the middle value is a and what comes before this should be a minus one and what comes after a would be a plus one. The reason we're taking this is now their sum is very easy to find. Minus one plus one, zero. So the sum here happens to be just three a, okay? And now the sum is equal to the product. What are the terms we have considered? a is the middle one, a minus one was the previous and a plus one is the next one. So their product can be found out quickly by taking the sum and the difference. Product of sum and difference is just the square, difference of the squares, right? So a square minus one. So this is the product of three numbers. You can keep it as it is, or you can just go ahead and simplify, which gives you a cube minus a, okay? Now, according to the information, this product is equal to the sum. So what happens when you take this all one side, you get a cube minus a minus three a is minus four a, which is equal to zero. Now, what is the quickest way we can solve this is you take out a common, you get a squared minus four, a squared minus four, is again the difference of two squares which can be expressed as the sum of the two values. Four is a square of two and the difference of the same two values. It gives me three possible values for a. a can be either zero, the value outside, or it can be equal to plus two or minus two. So you have three options for a, not more than that. Thereby we can be assured that there can be exactly three possibilities and not more than that. Okay, so that is how you approach questions like this and that's it.